is this ever happened to you that uh, you got a schedule and noticed that the duration of a task in the schedule is shown as a fraction instead of a whole number or uh, maybe the difference of the start and finish date which should be equal to the duration but it is not matching this is a very common problem in my microsoft project so we will find out the solution in this video so watch this carefully here is a schedule where you can see that the durations are in fraction instead of a whole number in ms project the duration of the working hour can be set from the calendar option that you already know and we have already posted videos on calendar in detail you can check out you can go to the calendar option from the change working time under project tab in the ribbon and from there you can set the duration of each work day going to the work week option and then clicking the details now here you see if you click on Monday, the specific working time for Monday, given here morning 8 to uh, 13 in the afternoon and then 14 to 23. That is the working hour is here 5 hours and then here it is 14 to 23 means 11 hours. That is 16 hours total. Now this is a common thing in construction that work goes beyond 8 hours. Uh, in fact, in construction industry, workday is, is almost never for 8 hours. It is always more than that. It may be 10 hours, 12 hours or even more than that. In this case, this is 16 hours. Now, if you go to Tuesday, here also it is given that 8 to 12 hours, that is 4 hours. And after that, 13 to 18, that is 8 hours. So, for a Tuesday, the working time is given for 12 hours. There are different working hours for the other days also. So, this is the reason of the problem to solve this you have to set the specific working time for each day that is if you want to give 12 hours you have to give 12 hours of working time for each of the work days say uh, we put here 5 hours 8 to 13 so uh, we will put 14 to 21 at the second half so here it is 7 hours and here it is 5 hours so 5 plus 7 12 hours we have given for monday so we will make the same for the remaining days also. Now we have made it uniform for all the days. Also, it is not practicable that in each of the days, the working hour will be different. So, we have to make it uniform and we have done that. And Sunday will be non-working time. So, now I am clicking on OK. OK again. But you see. Here, the days are still not shown in whole numbers. They are still fractions. We have to do one more thing. Go to File, then Options, and then go to Schedule. And here you see the default start time, end time, and hours per day, hours per week, hours, days per month. These are the default values of Microsoft Project that is set while creating the file or afterwards. So now we have to match these working hours with the calendar that we have set for our schedule so for our schedule the working hour part day is 12 that we have just now changed to and so here we will also have to make it 12 so if it is 12 hours per day and we have put the sunday as the off day that is a non-working day so 6 into 12 it will be 72 hours per week we have only put the sunday as the non-working day so uh, if we on an average exclude the four sundays in some cases it can be five even we can put it as 26 that will not affect your schedule but this hours per day that should match exactly with the per day working hour you have set in your calendar so basically what you have to do is to make the hour, working hours per day same in the project options as well as the calendar you are assigning to your schedule. So we are keeping it as 12 and 
clicking on OK and you see the durations has now changed to the whole numbers and also the differences of started and finished date are matching to the duration. Now here why it is not matching? Th 23rd December uh, to 25th December are uh, 3 days but here the duration is 2 days. This is because there is a Sunday in between. 24th December 2023 is a Sunday so it is not counting it as a work day because we have set it in the calendar as a non-working day. That's why it is calculating 2 days 23rd and 25th. So the bottom line is you have to keep the working hours in your project options and your calendar are the same. If you like this video, please let us know in the comment and also tell us what other topics you want to see in this channel. Thank you.